Chairman, I'd like to introduce John Goody. Good afternoon, Chairman and uh, Board of Directors. John Goody is my name. I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. I'll make this as brief as I can. Um, for 12 odd years, I was a customer of National Australia Bank uh, through the Clydesdale Bank in Scotland. Unfortunately, uh, the National Australia Bank decided in 2012 to withdraw and implemented a policy, a strategy uh, to uh, divest itself of its uh, British operation. I understood that, uh, what I didn't understand at the time, that it would make me uh, completely bankrupt. It would uh, mean the complete loss of all the wealth I'd built up over my years and uh, leave me uh, in the state that I find myself at the moment. For the past uh, 12 months, I've been conducting a protest in Glasgow, which I went on hunger strike for 15 days, lived in a tent for 51 days. I tell you all this because I think it's very important that people here today and this board of directors truly understand, which I'm sure they do, the real impact that uh, the work of uh, banks at their board of directors and their senior management have on the very lives of people. And my only comment when I get to a second to the question I'm going to ask the board is that as you try to solve the problem, which is NAB, Mr McEwen, I would suggest that you look very, very closely, and I'm sure you will because you are a very experienced and knowledgeable man, that you look at the past, and I mean the past, the mistakes. How can you rectify that going forward, both in a legacy point of view, but from a business point of view? You're absolutely right. Your business is only as good as your employees, and it's only as good as the customers that you have and that you create. The two of them are inseparable, and the two of them will make money for each other and this company going forward. My, my one question is that in my fight over in Glasgow with this demerge company and indeed David Duffy and the board of directors there, it's been a little bit of a ping pong. And uh, I've been told to come and speak to NAB. And one thing that happened in Glasgow that caused me a great deal of consternation was the comment through certainly a second source, not directly from David Duffy, but a second source, a whistleblower, he said to his staff in Glasgow, we cannot settle with Mr. Guidi because the National Australia Bank will sue us. I would ask you today just to confirm to me personally, after obviously seeking uh, senior management, and senior management did allude to this yesterday, that that is not indeed the case. If there is a possibility of settling my case, that there isn't that impediment which would be dare I say it, uh, National Australia Bank uh, taking some action against uh, Clydesdale Bank. I would like to finish off, after you've uh, uh, answered that question, Mr Chairman, to thank both the Australian people and National Australia Bank for the courtesy that they've offered me and my colleague today. And um, from that point of view, I would wish you the very best in the future. It's good business makes good business. That's what I would say to you. Thank you. Thank you. I might, um, as much for the benefit of um, other shareholders today, just explain why there is so much complexity um, in trying to resolve this issue. When National Australia Bank um, separated from the Clydesdale and Yorkshire banks in the UK, uh, and I'll be careful here because this was before I joined the National Australia Bank board, um, my understanding is that the separation uh, was such that uh, Clydesdale and Yorkshire would manage all the ongoing issues that they had and that uh, NAB provided an amount, an indemnity amount, of I think it was £1.7 billion, pounds, or something of that order of magnitude, um, to support that. Um, I believe that um, the particular issues that um, you represent uh, a complication in that, and that it was a uh, collection of assets that wasn't formally part of the CYB sale, but in fact were on sold to another party. And um, so that is, if anyone is interested, is why um, there is some problem in coming to terms with whose issues these are to be dealt with. Um, and I know that two of our colleagues um, met with you and um, uh, Mr Lightboy yesterday to try and 
see whether there's anything we can do to help us along to a resolution. Uh, so I don't, because it's, it's not something I'm close to and, and not something I was involved in because I wasn't here at the time of the sale, um, but I do understand that there is an honest attempt to try and broker something to, uh, to find a home for this issue. So thank you for your contribution. Thank you.